this video explains uh, the difference between subscriptions and resource groups in Azure and I will also uh, tell you how to uh, view the subscriptions and resource groups as well in Azure portal so first let us try to understand uh, what is subscription resource groups so this diagram uh, pretty much explains uh, everything about subscription and resource groups when you create the uh, B2C account it is also called as tenant in uh, Microsoft Azure terms so this account is actually a B2C uh, tenant account so once that account is created you can't uh, create the resource directly first of all you will have to have one subscription associated with your B2C account and uh, when you create the free trial account uh, you actually get the free trial subscription but if you are going for the paid subscription then you will have to select one of the plans developer plan or enterprise plan like that and then uh, once you get the subscription there only you can create the resource groups or uh, resources so without a subscription uh, it is not possible to create resource groups or resources now let us try to understand what is the resource group and resource so resource uh, is anything any service uh, that is provided by the Azure for example SQL database or say web app or uh, network firewall and lots of other services that are provided by the Azure for example if you go to the portal here you can see all these types of uh, services are provided by Azure app service storage account SQL database Azure Cosmos uh, DB Kubernetes function app virtual network so all these uh, uh, services are there so when you create one of the resource of that uh, service then uh, that is called as a resource and resource group is nothing but a grouping of the resources so let us say you create one virtual machine and one on a SQL server then you can group these two resources together the purpose of uh, using those resources together is that if the project uh, shuts down then it is easy to close or the you know uh, shut down that resource group so all the resources that are in that resource group will be uh, deleted and then that's the main purpose of resource groups so for m multiple projects you can create uh, different different types of resource groups and uh, it is easy to manage that way and now i will show you how you can view the resource uh, groups and uh, subscriptions so if you go here in the hamburger menu in azure portal you can see here all resources resource groups there or if you go to home here you can see the subscriptions button is there so you can view all the subscriptions that you got so you can see that uh, my account has got this subscription so normally what happens is when you create the b2c account in azure uh, you can add the users into that b2c uh, azure active directory so let us say uh, 100 users are there in the active directory then it is not necessary that all users will uh, will have access to the all the subscriptions let us say there are say four subscriptions then some users may have access to two subscriptions and other users may have access to four subscriptions so that is possible so you can uh, see here uh, for my account i have got access to this subscription and that is the subscription id this is my role and that's the current cost for this subscription so that's how you can see the subscriptions and uh, to say there is resource groups that are there just click here and then it will show you all the resource groups so just one resource group i've created and which is a part of this subscription and it is located in australia this you can also filter by the subscription here so right now there is just one subscription so it is saying free trial and here you can uh, filter by location as well because each resource uh, can be located in different location for example uh, this uh, resource group that is there it is in this location Australia list another resource group might be in different location so that's how you can filter as well if you have more questions on this uh, you can uh, let me know through the comments you can also create the new resources here by clicking on add and if you go here these are the properties of the resource groups and if you click add you can add the resources to this particular resource group like that for example if you want say devops project or say storage account you can add this into this resource group 
that's how you can manage the resource groups subscriptions in Azure. Thank you for watching this video.